Hi, welcome to another hands-on session on Microsoft Azure. Let us first have a brief overview of Azure CLI. The Azure Command Line Interface or CLI is a set of commands used for creating and managing Azure resources in an effective way. The Azure CLI is available across Azure services and is designed to get you working quickly with the Azure. With automated scripting, tasks can be achieved faster and with minimal effort. Azure CLI is available with Windows, Mac OS and Linux operating systems. Now let's get started with the lab. Now we'll go to the website for downloading the Azure CLI. Go to the website for the Windows version. So here we can download the Azure CLI for Windows OS. We'll scroll down from here. And here we have the latest version of Azure CLI for Windows. Click on it. And this is now being downloaded. Once it is downloaded, we'll open it and then the installer will start. We'll wait for it to install completely. So now the CLI has been completely installed. We'll click on finish. And now we'll open the command prompt to start writing the CLI commands. So for writing the Azure CLI commands, the keyword that we use is AZ. So the first command we'll write to verify that the CLI has been installed successfully, we'll write AZ dash dash version. So this will give us the version of the CLI as well as other dependencies, the Python version and Python location. And it also tells us that our CLI is up to date. Now to start writing the commands, connect to our AZ resources. We'll first give the command AZ login. That will take us to the browser. And here we'll provide the credentials for our account. So we'll give the email address and then the password and then we'll sign in this will take us to this page where we'll specify our birth date as well as our region so now we'll be redirected to this page which tells us that we have been logged in successfully to azure we'll go back to our command prompt now we'll start writing the basic cli commands for azure Next, we'll write a command to list out all the tenants inside our account. So we'll write az account tenant list. So this will prompt us to install an extension. So we'll write y. Now this will install and download the extension. Now we'll need to run az login once again in order to execute this command. Now we'll specify a particular tenant ID that is already associated with our account in order to retrieve the tenant details. So we'll write az login tenant and then the tenant ID. So this will take us to the browser. And since we are already logged in, we'll just click on our account verify our identity we will verify this through our code so we'll paste the code here and then verify and then when we head back to our CLI we can see our tenant details these are all the tenants that are associated with our account so here we have cloud name tenant ID ID name date and user account details Next, we'll write a command to list out all the locations that are associated with an Azure account. So these are all the regions and locations that are available with Azure account. We can see the location name, ID, as well as latitude and longitude. Next, 
We'll write a command to show a particular subscription that is associated with our account. We'll write az account subscription show and then the subscription id. And then we'll specify a particular subscription id from our account. For the id, we'll go to the portal, navigate to subscriptions. And from here, we'll copy the subscription ID that is associated with our subscription. We'll copy from here and then paste in this command. So here we can see the details of our specified subscription. We have the name, ID, state, subscription ID and the policies associated with the subscription. We can see that it is a pay as you go subscription. In this lab, we had a walkthrough of Azure CLI. We showed you how to download the CLI as well as to run the common commands that will be used in our Azure services.